Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And today's bedtime story is from Munchworks 3, The Third Munch Treasury. And the story today is called, get a little closer to the camera, A Promise is a Promise by Robert Munch and Michael Kusogak. Kusogak. Illustrated by Vod... Vladyana, Vladyana, cry Korka. On the very first nice day of spring, Alashua said, I'm going to go fishing. I'm going to go fishing in the ocean. I'm going to go fishing in the cracks in the ice. Aha, said his mother, don't go fishing on the sea ice. Under the sea ice live, live Quillipillet. They grab children who aren't with their parents. Don't go fishing in the ocean. Go fish in a lake. Right, said Alashua. I promise to go fishing in the lake and not in the ocean. And a promise is a promise. So, Alashua set out like she was going to go to the lake near her house. But when she got to the end of the street, she didn't go to the lake. She walked down the long snowy path that led to the ocean. At the edge of the ocean were large cracks where the tide broke and jumbled the ice. Alashua looked very carefully and did not see any qualalapalit. She said, on TV, I have seen Santa Claus, fairy godmothers, and the tooth fairy, but never any qualipulet. I think my mother is wrong. But, just in case her mother was right, Alashua stood beside the sea ice and yelled, Qualipulet, have dirty noses! Nothing happened. Alashua yelled, Qualipulet, smell like a dead whale in the summer. Nothing happened. Alashua walked right out onto the sea ice and yelled as loud as she could, Qualipulet, Qualipulet, can't catch me. Nothing happened. The only thing Alashua heard was the sound of the snow blowing over the ice. So, Alashua got out her line and her hook. She walked over to a large crack ice, crack in the ice and started to fish. Right away, a fish grabbed the hook and Alashua pulled it up. She caught six fish in a row. Alashua yelled, I am the best fisherman in the world. And from behind her, something said with a voice that sounded like snow blowing over the ice, The best you may be, but the smartest you are not. Alashua turned around. There between her and the shore were the Qualipulet. They looked at her and said, Have you seen the child who said Qualipulet have dirty noses? Oh no, Qualipulet, I have seen no such child, and besides, your noses are very pretty. Have you seen the child who said we smell like a dead whale in the summertime? Oh no, Qualipulet, I have seen no such child, and besides, you smell very nice just like flowers in the summer. Have you seen the child who yelled, Qualipulet, Qualipulet, can't catch me? Oh no, Qualipulet, I have seen no such child, and besides, my mother says that you can catch whatever you want to. Right, said the Qualipulet. We catch whatever we want to, and what we want to catch right now is you. One grabbed Alashua by her feet and dragged her down, down, down under the sea ice to where the Qualipulet lived. The sea water stung Alashua's face like fire. 
Alice Shua held her breath, and the Qualipulet gathered around her and sang with voices that sounded like snow blowing over the ice. Human child, human child, ours to have, ours to hold. Forget your mother, forget your father, ours to hold under the ice. Alishua let out her breath and yelled, My brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters, I'll bring them down all to the sea ice. For a moment, nothing happened. And then the Qualipulet threw Alishua up out of the sea into the cold wind of the ice and said, A promise is a promise. Bring your brothers and sisters to the sea ice and we will let you go. Alishua began to run up the long snow-covered path that led to her home. As she ran, her clothes started to freeze. She ran more and more slowly until she fell to the ground. And that is where Alishua's father found her, almost at the back door, frozen to the snow. Alishua's father gave a great yell, picked up Alishua, and carried her inside. He tore off Alishua's icy clothes and put her to bed. Then the father and mother got under the covers and hugged Alishua till she got warm. After an hour, Alishua asked for some hot tea. She drank ten cups of hot tea with lots of sugar and said, I went to the cracks in the sea ice. Aha, said her family, not so smart. I called the koala pulet nasty names. Aha, said her family, dumber still. I promised to take my brothers and sisters to the cracks in the sea ice. I promised to take them all to the koala pulet. Aha, said her family, a promise is a promise. Then her mother and father made some tea, and they sat and drank it, and didn't say anything for a long time. From far down the snow-covered path that led to the sea, the Qualipulet began calling, A promise is a promise. A promise is a promise. A promise is a promise. The mother looked at her children and said, I have an idea. Do exactly as I say. When I start dancing... All of you follow, Alishua to the cracks in the sea ice. And the children all whispered to each other, Ah, ah, why will our mother dance? This is not a happy time. Alishua, Alishua's mother went out the back door and yelled, Qualipulet, Qualipulet, come and talk with me. And they did come right up out of the cracks in the sea ice, up the long snow-covered path to the sea they came, and stood by the back door. It was a most strange thing, for never before had the Qualipulet left the ocean. The mother and father cried and yelled and asked for their children back, but the Qualipulet said, A promise is a promise. The mother and the father begged and pleaded and asked for their children back, but the Qualipulet said, A promise is a promise. Finally, Alishua's mother said, Qualipulet, you have hearts of ice, but a promise is a promise. Come and join us while we say a goodbye to our children. Everyone went inside. First, the mother gave her children some bread. She said to the Qualipulet, this is not for you. But the Qualipulet said, we want some too. The mother gave the Qualipulet some bread and they liked it a lot. Then the mother gave each of her children a piece of candy. She said to the Qualipulet, this is not for you. But the Qualipulet said, we want some too. The mother gave the Qualipulet some candy and they liked it a lot. Then the father started to dance. He said to the Qualipulet, this is not for you, 
The koala pullets said, we have never danced. We want to dance. And they all started to dance. First they danced slowly and then they danced fast. And then they started to jump and yell and scream and dance a wild dance. The koala pullet liked the dancing so much that they forgot about the children. Finally, the mother started to dance. And when the children saw their mother dancing, they crawled out the back door and ran down the long snowy path that led to the sea. They came to the cracks in the sea ice and Alashua whispered, Kuala Pulit, Kuala Pulit, here we are. Nothing happened. Then all the children said, Kuala Pulit, Kuala Pulit, here we are. Nothing happened. Then all the children yelled as loud as they could, Kuala Pulit, Kuala Pulit, here we are. Nothing happened, and they all went back to the land and sat on a large rock by the beach. Two minutes later, the koala pullet ran screaming down the path and jumped into the cracks in the ice. Alishua stood up on the rock and said, A promise is what you were given, and a promise is what you got. I brought my brothers and sisters to the sea ice, but you were not here. A promise is a promise. The koala pullet yelled and screamed and pounded the ice till it broke. They begged and pleaded and asked to have the children, but Alashia said, a promise is a promise. Then the koala pullet jumped down to the bottom of the sea and took their cracks with them, and the whole ocean of ice became perfectly smooth. Then the mother and father came walking down this long snowy path to the ocean. They hugged and kissed each other, each one of their own children, even Alashua. The father looked at the flat ocean and said, we will go fishing here for Kuala Pulit have promised never to catch children with their parents. And a promise is a promise. Then they all did go fishing quite happily, except for Alashua. She had been too close to the Kuala Pulit and could still hear them singing with their voices that sounded like blowing snow. Human child, human child, ours to have, ours to hold. Forget your mother, forget your brother, ours to hold under the ice. The end. And um, Robert Munch wrote a little bit of an extra here. Um, just kind of an afterward. Uh, the koala pulak is an imaginary Inuit creature, somewhat like a troll that lives in Hudson Bay. It wears a woman's parka made of loon feathers and reportedly grabs children when they come too near cracks in the ice. The Inuit traditionally spend a lot of time on the sea ice, so the koala pulak were clearly invented as a means to help keep small children away from dangerous crevices. Michael Kuzgluck thinking back to his childhood in the Arctic, made up a story about his own encounter with the koala pullet. He sent it to Robert Munch, who had stayed with Michael's family while telling stories in Rankin Inlet, Northwest Territories. A promise is a promise is a result of their collaboration. And that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.